Hello everyone, welcome to the second video of the Python for the Beginners series. Previously, in our first video, we installed the Python in our machine and print the simple hello world program in Python. So today in this video, we are going to learn about the variables and data types in Python. So let's start. In the desktop, I have made the empty folder Python. Uh, let me open here Visual Studio Code. So double click here, type cmd, which will open the command from, and simply type code it will open the Visual Studio code in this folder for you so the Visual Studio code is open now so click in this new file icon and let me give the name as variables and the extensions should be .py for the python file okay so press enter and it will create the variables that by file for you small this one okay so if you don't know what the variable is it is simply a container where the data values are stored okay and the python support different data types like strings numbers integers floats complex numbers and many other collection types like sets also so in today particularly in this video we are going to see about the different numbers like integers floating numbers and complex number and also we are going to see about the strings and the booleans okay so to define the variables in python you simply write the variable name let me say it's is so this is the variable name and give equals to to initialize certain value so let me say is is 20 done so the variable is defined here so it is showing here the is is of type integer the python will automatically detect the data type and that you store in the variable okay so now see so simply print the as and see what will happen to run the python file in visual studio code you, you can see the green play button here so simply press there and it will run the file in the terminal okay so here it has printed the as equals to 20 you can also check which data type is this okay so, so you can simply write the type in front of the as variable and simply run this file so it will show you that it is of integer type here okay so let me define uh, declare this as a float okay let me say 20.24 now let me print this so if you print this you, you will see here it has printed here float okay so this is the floating number here right now let me see for the string Okay, so let me clear up this first. Okay, let me say the name. Okay, so the name is John. You can simply declare the name is equals to and for the string you should write inside this inverted comma. Okay, so you can print simply print this the name. Okay, now run this file. You can see it has printed here zone, right? You can also check the type of, type of this variable. Okay, simply wrap this by type. Okay, first let me clear this thing out in the terminal. Okay, it has cleared. Now let me run this. You can see it is showing here the type string. Okay, now let's move to the another data type that is boolean. Okay, so the boolean can be of two type. Okay, that can be either of true or false okay so let me say x is equals to true okay if we do this then this will define this will be called as a boolean variable okay so print let me print the type of this variable x so run this you can see it is a boolean type right let me type as false this will be also a boolean type as you can see here right so you can see how you can define the variables in python it is very simple thing you don't have to define uh, the variable like int int x like in other programming languages like c and c plus plus okay you need to simply write the variable name and you have to give the value that can be either of type number have string or either a boolean okay so now let me show you that we can also define the complex number here okay so let me give one plus three 
z okay so sorry i have written it equals to plus right so this is a complex number so let me print the type of this variable tags and run this file you can see it is showing is of a complex type so you can see it's very simple to define the variable in the right okay python has some rules for defining the variables the first rule is the variable names should always start from either underscore or from alphabets okay so that is you can also start a variable name as underscore is okay is this is the variable name you can check it by printing this so let me run this you can see it is printing that is this is the valid variable name okay it shouldn't start with the numeric character okay let me say two is this is the invalid variable name you can see it is showing by a red on a line right you can check it by printing this variable you will see the error as invalid syntax here right the second rule is there shouldn't be any spaces or white space character in between the variables right you shouldn't define the variable as this by giving the space in between the variables okay this is also an invalid syntax you can simply print first name you will see the same error as invalid syntax you can see invalid syntax right the third rule is the variable name can only be the alphanumeric character okay i mean to say let me say name 2 this is the valid variable name say abc okay let me check it by printing this say name 2 you should see abc is printed here right so these are some rules that you should keep in mind before defining the variables in python so today you see how we can define the variables in the python so this much for today hope you like this video if you like please do like share and subscribe